Let's start again in a minute. I highly recommend every 17 years try cicadas. All right. Well, that's a clip of Fox 5 employee Terry Tolliver's Bay Winston cooking and eating cicadas. He even sent some for me. I'm going to get into this in a bit, but whether you're bothered or you're embracing Cicada Brood X, the real question is, are you willing to eat cicadas? Well, this morning, Hell's Kitchen All-Stars alum, fitness and nutrition coach Elise Harris, better known as the Diva Chef, joins us now to talk all about the health benefits of eating insects. All right, Elise, for a lot of people, I'm hearing from them now on social media, eating cicadas, not even on the menu, <laughs> not on the table. Uh, but for those who are brave enough to try, like myself, first off, why is it beneficial? Listen, bugs are, eating bugs are all of the rage. They are a, literally a superfood. They are full of antioxidants. Antioxidants are a substance that protects our cells against free radicals. Not only that, but they're a complete source of protein, meaning that they contain all nine essential amino acids. Not only that, crickets have two times the protein in comparison to conventional proteins. Wow. Just to put that in perspective for you, a serving of beef contains 31 grams of protein, whereas a serving of crickets contains a whopping 43 grams of protein. Wow, that's Not only huge. That, they're, I know, right? It makes it like a superfood, athletic, like muscle building protein machine. Yeah. And they're full of vitamins like B12, iron, calcium. And not only that, it's actually good for your gut health. You may think like, oh my God, that turns my stomach to think about it. But they're <laughs> actually full of chitana, chitosin, yeah. fiber, which helps you have optimum gut health. And you said they're all the rage. So everybody else, they're just out of style, right? They don't get it. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is right, on trend. Right. You're there are mad restaurants yeah. out there that have bugs on the menu in the United States and, and international. Right, right. So how do you prepare them though? Okay, so I'm going to show you, since it's Tuesday, guess what it is? It's Taco Tuesday. Your girl's going to show you how to make some Chipotle cricket tacos. You Cicadas ready? tacos? Yes. Oh, wow. First thing you want to do is you want to heat your pan over medium-high heat. You're going to add a little bit of olive oil. Next, you're going to take your crickets or your cicadas or whatever you can find. Uh-huh. Oh, my God, look at that. You know, I actually had crickets in a Rice Krispie treat once. Oh, wow. And I like, too, um, how you add these to foods you already enjoy. I mean, I have cicadas by themselves right now, but I think for people who are a little hesitant, that's a way to try to just swap it out for your proteins, correct? Right. Swap it out for your protein. Yeah. You can ground it up in a flour and make baked treats. Um, the possibilities are endless. And honestly, um, the most humane way if you get them live is to pop them in the freezer. The freezer will slow down their heart rate, and that's the most humane way to put them to rest, so to say. Oh, yeah, and it took us 17 years to get this batch of cicadas, so you may okay. have to, I don't think you can freeze them for another 17, but it's good wow. to know that you can. Uh, what do you think they taste like before I taste mine? Um, crunchy. <laughs> Juicy, okay. <laughs> well, while you're They're preparing well that. They season well, they taste good. Right, right. Uh, Winston, we showed him off the top of this interview, and you continue uh, making the taco there. He made some mm -hmm. cicadas for me today, and I'm told he added um, olive oil, garlic, a lot of. There, it smells fantastic, first of all. So let mm -hmm. me try. Here we go. Oh, it is crunchy. There we go. Mm. Oh. Uh, um. mm. How is it? Crunchy at first, mm. then gooey. Oh, <laughs> no. Very gooey. Yeah. <laughs> and um, mm. I'm getting shrimp. Mm. I'm getting um, maybe a little chicken. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. But I think yeah. the seasoning, the seasoning is what makes it. You know, you have to make sure you, you do that right. I think that's the, the rub, is having the right seasoning. Mm. Wow. And so I know some people are looking at me like, okay, Marissa, you're bugging out, <laughs> literally and figuratively. But it's actually very, very, very tasty. Um, I do think oh, wow. if you haven't tried it before, you want to add it in a taco. Or maybe even exactly. on pizza. I read that online. 
before you just go all in, all natural. Exactly. I totally agree with you. It's all about the seasoning and the flavor profile that you create. Um, and they do have like an aromatic smell like shrimp or seafood. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would say kind of stick close to that. Use a lot of flavors. Yeah. Right now I'm cooking mine with some cor coriander, some cumin. I put some salt and pepper, a pinch of sugar to get them caramelized. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. And then, you know, I'll have some warm tortillas here. You know what? Next water. time, Diva uh, Chef, I, I want it with uh, Old Bay seasoning. It's only right. Yeah. The next <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, um, Elise, for taking the time. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this, Winston. Thank you. I still have about, let's see, one, two, three, four to share. So that's, let's see, wisdom. Jeanette, Holly, and Steve. Don't tell that I don't, lie. I don't want to be greedy, so I have some left over to Chef Holly. Don't tell that lie. Here, Holly, I can come downstairs. You can give them all to Holly. Let me see. Yeah, here, Jeanette, come on over. I'm a, I'm just I wish I had an extra fork. Quick. Yeah, please do. Oh, there's plenty of fork. Thank you for trying, I Jeanette, and not leaving me hanging. Yeah, there's plenty of fork. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I can't She'll do it. She'll try it during the Holly, commercial Holly, take it break. away, girl. <laughs> Holly, I mean, there's still three more. I mean, did it bite you, Jeanette? I mean, what? <laughs> Holly, I'm, I'm coming downstairs. Go, Look, don't go, go anywhere. Girl. I'm coming. Look, if it'll give me arms like Chef Diva, I'm all in. I don't <laughs> eat a crate of them. I mean, we all are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm.